Alrighty, this P100D Tesla that I bought flooded, that I nearly got it working. One of the things that isn't working on it, that didn't survive the flood, is its charging cable, which is a bit disappointing, because I don't have a shiny, nice charging cable to go with my Tesla. And the way that the lid is on these charging cables is, um, first of all, there's this rubber cover on it that you've got to peel off. And then there's the, the obvious joint line, but it's welded or like um, melted together. So there's no nice way of opening it, which is where the uh, renovator comes in. And getting the lid off, it's pretty ugly looking in here. And it's actually, I don't know if you can see, still damp in places. Like it's still got water beads and this car was flooded around about Christmas. And it's now November, so about 11 months ago. <laughs> um, I thought I'd been lucky with my renovator. I thought I'd got away without damaging anything, but I just, just caught the board there. And there's a trace. My fat fingers aren't showing it you very well, but I've caught a trace and it looks very much like there's a component missing just down there. So even if drying this out was gonna fix it, it isn't anymore. Anyway, interesting to see inside. I love the way that Tesla do their ultrasonic welding on things like this. Really, really nice. And I, yeah, their details are so good. This, this little box here, it's, it handles three phase. It, it's so much more compact than most others and it just looks really nice before idiots cut them into pieces. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can salvage a few things like the connector um, but there you go that's what's inside your Tesla UMC um, hopefully yours isn't full of water and skank like this one <laughs>